Eyes on IndyCar Series presents IndyCar 101, Brake Bias. When you step on the brakes in your passenger car, more force is applied to the front brakes than the rear brakes. This event, known as brake bias, occurs because the car's mass is transferred to the front tires under braking and the brakes need more force to slow the car. Unlike in a passenger car, the driver can adjust the brake bias during the race to compensate for changing track conditions or car handling. Indy cars have two brake cylinders, one for the front brakes and one for the rear. As the driver depresses the brake pedal, a certain amount of pressure is applied to each of the master cylinders. The driver can adjust this pressure by turning a dial at his lower left in the cockpit, thereby sending more braking power to the front brakes versus the rear brakes. The driver continually adjusts this pressure throughout a fuel run. As the fuel burns off, the car needs less rear braking because the rear of the car gets lighter. If the driver applies too much rear braking in the car, and the rear tires lock up before the front tires, then the car could spin out. The brake bias is just another example of the little things that drivers can control during the race to make their car a little better. <laughs>